All right, here we go. Here we go. Up. Oh, <gasps> he's alive. He's alive. No. <laughs> no. No. Hey guys, and welcome back to the wonderful and weird world of the siege. This is Krebsy here, and yes, it is a very, very weird world that we are in. Because today, we are looking at some extravagant designs that are very strange, but highly entertaining. This is the Mammoth. Uh, <laughs> and this is a highly armored Mammoth at that. A very strange contraption. Alright, I've got the controls right next to me, so let's make this... A function to do something. It looks like Farmer John needs a bit of help exterminating his sheep. So here is Krebsy, uh, armed to the brim with a, a, a weapon of mass destruction. An elephant of death. Alright, activate the main cannon. Oh! <laughs> it's been activated! Look at that fiery ball of doom! Get something! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! looks like we got some sheep that are on fire over there. <laughs> you guys okay? He's a smoldering wreck. Oh my! Spontaneous combustion. Alright, now we must activate the gun. Launch the cannon! Oh! <laughs> I think that was a sheep. <laughs> That's all I could imagine it to be. No more? <laughs> I love this design. The cannon is like a slingshot. How cool is that? <laughs> Looks awesome. Launch the rockets. I'm, I'm guessing these things on the sides are rockets. Um, but they can only go up. Oh! Take that, you little bastard! Right, rocket number two, that was. Rocket three! Launch! We have liftoff at Mammoth Kennedy Station. Rocket number four. You have go. Oh shit! <laughs> I think there was a little feller down here. Oh god. Okay, we still got one more. Alright, little sheepy. Get underneath the rocket. <laughs> Here they come! They're so excited! It's Sean the Sheep. Alright, we have lift off. Take off in three, two, one. Ah, oh. Good sheep. Good job. He stayed out of the way. What are those little balls? What are the little balls? Are those like cannonballs? Did something like launch in the opposite direction and that's how it works? Oh, perhaps. Actually, yeah, that's how it works! Oh, that's an ingenious design. That's how you get lift. They used cannons! To make the uh, rockets go up. That's pretty cool. I like that. What else do we got? Uh, Q and E. Angle control for rockets and heads. Ah! Oh, well. Whoops. <laughs> um, whoops. Yeah, indeed. Whoops. Should have used that earlier, shouldn't I have? Okay, we'll, we'll try that next time. R. Toggle water evacuation. Oh, my gosh. Um, it's coming out of all the right places! Look at that! <laughs> hey man, an elephant's gotta go, or should I say mammoth's gotta go, and a mammoth's gotta go. Oh my dearie me. It's like a proper animal. It's like a real animal. T, detach needle spine. What does that mean? Needle spine. It's not doing anything. How about we start moving? Oh my gosh! So this is how it walks? Good glory. Good glory. Look at how it walks. I've mastered the form of walking with this thing. Look at this. Altering between the arrow keys so I can walk at quick speed. Now what would happen if I went too far? Oh my gosh, it's like Q-Wop. Oh! Why am I peeing myself constantly? Oh my gosh, I think I've just broken my leg. That does not look like a right angle. I mean, that does not look like a proper angle. 
<laughs> Quick, medic! Medic or veterinarian! I need a veterinarian! Oh god! Oh no, those legs are properly off. Oh, well. I can't, I can't help myself. I've gotta let my... <laughs> all my water go. It's the pain! It's the pain that's getting to me! Oh, well, I can still move my feet even though they're detached. <gasps> I'm a telepathic elephant? A telepathic mammoth? Come here, you little bastards! Alright, we're gonna try this again. I'm genuinely interested to find out what the spine is. I just detached my spine. I don't know what that means, though. Okay, little guys. How about we turn around? Wait. Oh! This is how it turns around! That's amazing! That is actually pretty cool. That is pretty cool. It's like a turntable, almost. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Learn to walk, Krebsy. Learn to walk. Right, let's get those little bastards on top of the hill. Okay, you little bastards. It's time to aim the guns. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. That's actually part of the design. It's supposed to come off like that. All right. Little cunts. Turn this around properly. We're gonna go for the guys behind the tree. All right. Rockets. Rockets number, I think, four. Go. No, that was the wrong one. Oh shit, they came off as well. Alright, we're gonna have to aim. Oh! <laughs> oh no! The mammoth! The mammoth! The massacre. <laughs> okay, this time I need to aim a little bit more properly. So we'll aim these yay high. This high, and I'll rotate. No. No, that's not rotating. Don't fall over. Because there's no way of getting back up. Alright. Alright, you little bastards. Okay. I think that's a good angle. Fire the rockets! That did fuck all. Fire! Fire! Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm out of the bounds. I'm out of the map. Oh, God. Where's home? Now somebody tells me that that might have to do with the spine. That might have to do with the spine. I didn't let go of the spine prior. Whoa! The rotation speed. Alright, I have let go of the spine. So hopefully, something or everything should be okay. I think maybe if I don't let go of the spine, then the rockets don't come flying off. You know? Because I think that's what needs to happen. Alright. Let's drop these over this angle. Maybe a bit higher. Rocket one! Oh, sugar. Rocket two! Oh no! Why? Why? The horror! So this is my theory. I have a feeling that rocket number two is a little bit of a stupid rocket. So I'm gonna try launching with the uh, fifth rocket first. Alright, rocket number five. Our only hope! Oh! Yes! Oh shit, what happened? Malfunction at Mammoth. Malfunction at the Mammoth. Oh god. Oh god, can we still fire the rockets though? Yes! Ah! It hurts! <laughs> oh, the horror. The absolute horror. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at this vehicle called the Excavator. And it's a vehicle tailored towards getting jobs done. And the kind of jobs that we're gonna be getting done is, well, killing Farmer John's sheep over here. So first things first, the control says that I need to hit H in order to begin and tense up all of my, uh, systems, I guess? Systems are on. Systems online. Driving. Arrows. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, I hope the tracks are supposed to be like that. They kind of seem to be getting unwound. Ah! Okay, so if I use both left and right, then I go in a straight line. Now, I imagine if I just use left or something, then I'll turn in a different direction, okay? I'm going to try turning to the right. Um, hopefully this is going to work, though. Somebody tells me that this is actually going to be kind of hard to... <laughs> uh, turn around. In fact, how do I reverse? 
Doors. Hold up. Let's take a look at what else we can do. There's a door. Uh-oh. Whoops. <laughs> um, so let's try some other things. One and three are to lower the main arm part. Aha. Okay, that was probably not meant to happen. <laughs> so one and three. Wait. Tighten everything. One and three are meant to raise and lower the arm. That's cool. I understand that. That's really nice. That goes up and down. Now what about the secondary, the middle part of the arm? Four and six. Let's take a look at this. Whoa. It's just jumping up and down. What are you doing? Oh, that extends it. I think that extends it. I think. See, that brings it, like, up and down from the middle portion of it. That makes sense. And now the top part of the arm is 7 and 9. Ah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Little sheep. Open and close the bucket. 8 and 2. Alright, here we go. Oh, just like that! I'm gonna be able to grab these little pieces of crap. That's, that's really cool. That's really cool. You there, little bastard. Hold on. Get closer to my bucket. Get in my bucket. Alright, we're gonna go straight ahead and we're gonna grab these little fuckers down over here. Oh, that's one little guy dead. Now, down. Oh! Oh! My arm! Oh! Oh! I clasped too tightly. Oh, the little sheepy. <laughs> Absolutely pulverized, their bones crushed. And the immense, tremendous pressure of the bucket. So unfortunately, what I wanted to do was try to rescue the sheep on top of the big hill. And uh, even the small hill would have been fine. But my arm doesn't extend that far out, so I can't. And this thing does not climb on top of the hill terrain either. It's kind of heavy. And kind of clunky. So what instead I'm gonna do is try rescuing more sheep down here. <laughs> All right, go up, arm, up, good, and now down goes the end part of the arm, yes, yes, no, it's stuck on the track, okay, I hope that didn't break anything, all right, now down goes the arm, down, down on the sheep. Oh, <laughs> we have a casualty. And now into the bucket. I wonder if I can try to not kill this one. Okay, hold up. I think he might be stuck in there. Now let's try picking him up. All right, here we go. Here we go. Up. Oh, <gasps> he's alive. He's alive. No. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. Little Sean. The bucket wasn't tight enough. It's such a balance act between either too much pressure killing the sheep or them just falling out of the bucket itself. Wait, a new little host has introduced himself. He might want to enter the bucket. Come on inside, sheepy. Come inside. Come inside the bucket. You know you want to. <laughs> Alright, if you don't want to come in... I'm gonna rotate so you get in the- oh, 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 here, 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 okay, stop, 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 okay, I'm scared of going any tighter, oh no, it's too much, the sheep are so fragile, alright, let's rotate, rotate this bastard of a thing, ah, oh. okay, keep going, I can hear little sheepies getting squished as my tracks are rotating here. Okay, now forward. We're gonna have to raise this arm up a little bit more. Yes. Yes. Get in my belly, or my bucket even. Okay. Yes, 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 a bit more in the middle. And now we can lower the arm. And, oh God! Damn it! Look! Little sheepy. A bit more tight. Okay, that's as, 
That's as tight as it goes, I'm pretty sure. Any more and that sheep is gonna die. I didn't do anything! <laughs> he just, I just left it, I didn't even touch anything. He spontaneously combusted. So unfortunately, I was not able to save any of Farmer John's sheep, nor even get a sheep properly inside the bucket without them being splattered all over the place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Besiege. If you've got any cool stuff you want to show me in the workshop, feel free to show me or link me in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed yet again, and until the next one, have a nice day. Here we go.